on, um, they find out that humans find out that aliens, these, these Autobots, these, these, uh, they're almost like electronic life forms, machines that come to life, um, have been living with us for a long time. Uh, and then there's a piece of their technology that they fought the ancient war over here, hidden here. Uh, and they got to, they got to have the Autobots have it because if the Decepticons get it, they're going to use it to, to claim our sun and destroy our planet. Uh, in the second movie, it gets more interesting, to me at least, because the second movie they have uh, at the end of the first movie, uh, the 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 head of the Autobots, he I'm gonna, uh, I think it's uh, Optimus Prime is his name. He's a big Cohiba. He takes out Megatron. And Megatron is can't die, but he is buried. He's buried in the in the abyss in the ocean. And several of the Decepticons in the beginning get him out of the uh, get him out of the abyss. Uh, basically, get him back to life, and he flies back up to his master, the Fallen, who's on this big uh, wrecked spacecraft in another planet from this ancient war. And so the Fallen, we find out, was the one who waged the ancient war. And we find out what the ancient war between the Autobots and the Decepticons was about. The Fallen was called the Fallen because he took their particular technology and he used it for destructive purposes. Embedded in the pyramid, in the Giza plateau itself. This is how the movie says, in the, in the, Giza, in the Giza complex, the Great Pyramid uh, contained another structure, and that structure was used to attempt to claim our sun. And one of the the the, reason, the one of the um, one of the rules they had for their their, their physics, the the primes, the, the ones who run the show for the <laughs> for the uh, for the transformers, uh, is that this physics could never be used. Their particular technology could never be used to destroy a life-bearing planet. And the fallen was called the fallen because he had used the physics to destroy a life-bearing planet. And so from that day forward, he was called the fallen. And they waged a war, and they took away his technology. What they took away was they took away a key component of the technology called the Matrix of Leadership. And the Matrix of Leadership activates the pyramid, which can then claim our sun and destroy our planet and everything else. You'd have to see the movie, but if you read Dr. Farrell's Cosmic War, if you've listened to any of this stuff, if you've read any of the Hoagland, Hoagland re references this stuff, there's several different parties now coming online about this ancient Cosmic War. Me, I'm an agnostic. I don't know what I believe, but I'm ready for anything because I've read it all. But, but this, this movie is a much closer, uh, almost eerie. It's eerie on how close it is to this story that the, the Dr. Farrells are talking about. Uh, that's in the beginning of the Bible. We think of the Bible as a creation story. It is not. It is a war epic when one side gets thrown down. The fallen. He loses. <laughs> and he has an apprentice, Megatron. But what's fascinating about this story is how close it actually is. And the third movie, of course, is coming out. It is a final epic between the Decepticons and Autobots. And it is done by Steven Spielberg himself. And this is about the two sides are racing to get back to the moon because hidden in the south side of the moon is one of the key components of something about this mystery, mis something about this ancient war that they had. Um, so on the moon is this huge wreckage that, that humans come across. And the Autobots are trying to get to this wreckage first to find out its secrets so that the Decepticons can't use it. Um, now that's coming out. It will first play in, of all things, Egyptian museum, in Egyptians uh, movies. I'm sorry, uh, Egyptian movie theaters. Sometime I want to say in April, um, or maybe it's July. It's sometime soon. You can look it up. Transformers: The Dark Side of the Moon. Look it up. Look at, watch the movies. They're fascinating stuff. If if this is what you're interested into, but this theme, this theme that we've talked about, is not unknown. <laughs> it, it's biblical. It's far and wide, and the exact theme is coming out in the Transformer movies, by and large. But anyways, uh, in, the, in the final installment, they, they're racing back to the dark side of the moon. And I haven't, seen the, I haven't seen the movie yet, so it's impossible for me to know what, what twists and turns it'll take. But you can watch the previews. Just watch the previews. Uh, it's, it, it was, it was uh, the first preview came on during the Super Bowl, I believe, which I wasn't watching. <laughs> but I have, seen, I have seen the previews, and it's interesting. But that is an interesting movie series. It is probably much more precise as far as the theme of uh, the Giza complex and the technology being used for destructive purposes and someone forever being known as the Fallen after. It, it is fascinating how close it captures uh, the Dr. Farrell's interpretation of what happened and what you know different other parties are now coming online they just didn't want to be the first to say it uh, but this is uh, an interesting as we go as we as we further uh, as we come in further along the end game how all these different themes are coming out and overlapping one another uh, but media is very important 
media is very important. Uh, and we'll have to see what Steven Spielberg's take is on the dark side of the moon, won't we? Um, an ancient space wreck there from the first cosmic war between the Autobots and Decepticons, and they have to get there to find out its secrets. Interesting stuff fascinating stuff but I'll keep you abreast of that since all hell is going to break loose any day yes it will um, Iran will probably send boats near Syria or something their ally Syria and then Israel counter that and we'll end up in a war and who knows who knows what events are going to transpire to kick off World War three someone does someone does leave it to the little pink rabbits they will jump into the fire <laughs> yes they will but this has been a little bit longer follow the white rabbit I'm trying to catch up with alternative news and researchers I'm trying to answer your questions or send you down legitimate paths so you can get some healthy carrots uh, but uh, you know it's very difficult to know about stealth bombers until they bomb Saddam Hussein all you can do is know that the Russians certain Russians are saying they exist and you might want to look out for it we are the last to know and we're the last to believe uh, that is the nature of white rabbits it's kind of funny but we will always keep this we'll keep this conversation alive until the until the until uh well until we until we see the rot of the pink rabbits we are now at the end of another episode of Horace the Avengers Follow the White Rabbit and this podcast is of course all as always dedicated to practical politics but I'd like to take this time to thank you for tuning in and to another episode on behalf of the indigenous white rabbits of Europe it is yours truly, Horace the Avenger, and I'll be back with you in another episode in the near future. Until then, thank you for listening. <laughs>